In part three of this series titled Publishing Your Scenario, I'll walk you through the process of publishing your scenario for use in your online or technology enhanced classroom. Here I'm within PowerPoint and first I'll select the iSpring free option across the top ribbon of PowerPoint. Next I'll select the publish button. On this dialog box I'm given the option to be able to adjust the title and where the presentation is being saved at on my computer. I'll also want to adjust any of the options that are provided in the dialog box for the specific scenario that I'm creating. Oftentimes I leave the advanced animations on mouse click unchecked in this uh, case. This allows the learner to be able to select only the options that I've designated within the scenario. When I've made all the edits that I'd like, I select the publish button. And it takes just a moment to publish the scenario, and it gives me the option to preview the scenario once it's finished. So I'm going to select the PowerPoint scenario from the list, and notice that the PowerPoint scenario has been published, just as it was in PowerPoint. And I can click the Continue button, and I can, if I click on outside of there, the, the slides do not advance, but if I click on the buttons, then it does advance as well. So this gives the learner the option to control some of the uh, their actions within this scenario and provides you the opportunity to help guide the learner through the scenario process. In this final part to this series, I've discussed the process for actually publishing your scenario and it should now be ready for you to import into your online course or your technology enhanced classroom.